everyone. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. And today we're bringing you a very, I would say, embarrassing lesson for us men. Right, embarrassing for men, but I think it's okay for women. <laughs> That's right. We're going to be talking about buying underwear, specifically women's underwear. Right. So,、um, Obviously, not the favorite thing for men to do. Well, apart from being a little bit uncomfortable, it's also boring. Yeah, it involves shopping, right? <laughs> it involves shopping, so we, we're not really big on that. All right, but well, even though it might be a little bit of an uncomfortable、um, topic, there is some great language in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's some really good words, and of course,、uh, the different types of underwear that we're going to be looking at. Yeah. But we also have some words that we're going to take a look at before we get into our dialogue, so let's start with vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. Well, we're going to look at two words that will appear in our dialogue, and the first one is lingerie. 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 Okay, so lingerie. This is a, a nice fancy word,、mm -hmm. basically for underwear, right? Right, for women's underwear. Women's underwear. Yeah. So lingerie, but it's very nice, very like pretty, sexy, sexy yeah. underwear. Yeah. yeah. Now the spelling of this word is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's spelled L I N. G E R I E lingerie lingerie yes don't you love English spellings <laughs> so women's nice pretty sexy underwear that's right and our second word awkward 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 so this is a feeling that men have especially when they're buying women's underwear well yeah you feel a little bit uncomfortable、yeah. or it's a strange situation or weird or、yeah. out of place it's awkward yes. All right, so we're going to be hearing both of these two words in the dialogue. Now, Marco, where are we here? We're going to be at a department store at the section where they have women's、uh, lingerie, and we have a guy buying underwear for his girlfriend. All right, well, let's find out what happens. This sucks. I hate buying lingerie. Okay, just find something and get out of here. All right, these are fine. Oh no! Don't come over here! Don't come over here! You look a little lost. Can I help you? Um, I'm just having a look around. It's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. I'm trying to find her something. Well, you can't give her granny panties. Have you thought about getting her some sleepwear?、Mm. We've got these lovely silky nighties. Or how about some nice panties and a bra set? Look. Here's a nice satin push-up bra, and you can choose a few different styles of undies to go with it. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> This is so awkward. What ones do I pick? What size is she? Well, do you want a thong? Some bikini briefs? Maybe this nice pair of lacy boy shorts. Just pick something and get the hell out of here. Um, I'll go with these two. This is mortifying. I just want to get this over with, and she better thank me for this. Here you are, sir. I'm sure she'll enjoy them. Fine. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to take a look inside your bag. Oh, the poor guy! I totally feel bad for him. Yeah, he was really nervous, and of course, it was very uncomfortable for him. I know. And then the security guard <laughs> shows up. Exactly. <laughs> But we had the opportunity to take a look at some really great words and phrases. So let's start off with our first one in language takeaway. Language takeaway. All right. Well, we're going to look at words here that mostly have to do with underwear, describing underwear. Right. And the first one is granny panties. Granny panties. Granny panties. This isn't like a real, real word, right? It's not something you'll find in a dictionary. No, it's a slang word,、um, and we use it to describe really big, ugly underwear, like your grandmother would wear. <laughs> All right, so they're not like the sexy little underwear. It's、no. more like long, and it's not very appealing. Just、though. picture what your grandmother would wear. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so granny panties. So obviously,、um, this guy doesn't want to be buying any of those. But the saleswoman suggests that he try some sleepwear. 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 Okay, so sleepwear. Obviously, clothes you wear when you're sleeping. Now this is really interesting because men aren't really that complicated when it comes to sleeping. Just throw on a t-shirt and that's it. 
well, obviously for women, there are more <laughs> options and, and more different things you can choose from. So okay. It's a whole separate category for I women. Know. Even when you're sleeping, you must wear something nice. Yes. One type of sleepwear is silky 90s. 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 N I G H T I E S. Okay, so a 90. Um, it's basically a dress that you wear when you sleep. Okay. Now, the pronunciation is interesting because the first five letters are night. Right. Right? But you don't say night. You don't say nighty. You say nighty. Yeah, you, you make the T a D. Mm. Nighty. Now, she offered him some silky nighties. Right. So, silky. Obviously, we know silk is right. a soft, shiny fabric, right? Right. So, when something is silky, it's either made from silk or it's Similar. soft and shiny. Okay. So, yep. some silky nighties. Very soft, shiny uh, nighties. Exactly. Okay. What about our next word? Well, the sales girl offers different styles of undies. 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 So undies is an interesting word. It's basically short for underwear. Underwear, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can just call underwear undies. Yes. But I think you mostly use this when you're talking about women's underwear. Oh, really? I mean, I don't know if I would say undies when I'm talking about men's underwear. No, I don't think so. Maybe children's underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For children. For yep. children, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So we saw some of the different types of clothing, but now let's take a look at this interesting adjective, mortifying. Mortifying. This is mortifying. Mortifying. Okay. So when something is mortifying. Well, I think we've got some examples to show you what that is like. Example one. And then I fell in front of everyone. It was mortifying. Example two. I was completely mortified when I realized what I had done. Example three. It must have been mortifying for her when she realized that her underwear was showing. So basically, it's very embarrassing. Super embarrassing. You want to die almost. Yep. Okay. Which is I, interesting. I mean, mort. Right. From yep. death, French. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, um, etymology here at English Pod. <laughs> All right. So some interesting. Okay. So we saw the different types of underwear. We saw this really great word for when you're really embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So now let's take a look at some of the phrases that you would use when you're really embarrassed in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right, well, we have two phrases to look at here. The first one, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Okay, so if I say I want to get the hell out of here. You want to leave this place really quickly. Really quickly. Yes. I want to leave. Right now. Now, when you're using this, this phrase or this sentence, uh, get the hell out of here, is it really polite? No, of course not. It's it's impolite. Okay, so it's, it's really negative. Very negative and informal, right? Yeah, yeah. So you would use this maybe with your friends or th like in this case, think it to yourself. Yes, but it's not a good idea to use with your boss or your mother. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I guess sometimes depending on the tone you use, mm. how you say it, you can sound really angry, right? Definitely. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's listen to some examples. Example one. This place is scary. Let's get the hell out of here. Example two. What are you doing in my house? Get the hell out of here. Example three. We were at a friend's party and all of a sudden her parents arrived. We got the hell out of there as quickly as possible. All right, so... Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Now let's take a look at our last phrase for a fluency builder. Get this over with. Get this over with. I want to get this over with. So you want to finish it really quickly. But you want to finish it because you're not really enjoying it, right? Exactly. This is something that you use when the situation is negative. It's negative. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I just want to get this over with. Yeah. I want to get this test over with. I want to get this day over with. I want to get this. Maybe if you're on a bad date, I want to get this date over with. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, interesting phrases. And I think it would help us to hear them once more in context in the dialogue.
This sucks. I hate buying lingerie. Okay, just find something and get out of here. All right, these are fine. Oh, no, don't come over here. Don't come over here. You look a little lost. Can I help you? Um, I'm just having a look around. It's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. I'm trying to find her something. Well, you can't give her granny panties. Have you thought about getting her some sleepwear? Mm. We've got these lovely silky nighties, or how about some nice panties and a bra set? Look, here's a nice satin push-up bra, and you can choose a few different styles of undies to go with it. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> this is so awkward. What ones do I pick? What size is she? Well, do you want a thong? Some bikini briefs? Maybe this nice pair of lacy boy shorts. Just pick something and get the hell out of here. Um, I'll go with these two. This is mortifying. I just want to get this over with, and she better thank me for this. Here you are, sir. I'm sure she'll enjoy them. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to take a look inside your bag. Alright, so I guess the situation is very common. Men either having to shop for this type of article for their girlfriend or wife mm -hmm. because it's their birthday. Yep. Or sometimes we get dragged into a store to, to buy this So stuff. you're shopping with your girlfriend and she's going to make you go look at underwear with her. <laughs> yeah. I usually don't do that, though. I'll just uh, go to the next section and just look around. Look at tools. Or look at <laughs> <laughs> TVs and yeah. Playstations. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I have seen some men who go shopping with their girlfriends or wives and actually enjoy buying underwear. See, that's the thing. I think it, it, it makes sense, but I don't know how comfortable you would actually be. I don't know why. I guess just the, how it indicates sexuality and yeah. all this stuff. Oh, well. like, I could do it for maybe five or ten minutes, give my professional advice, and yeah. then I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, maybe those guys who look like they're enjoying themselves are just really talking in their heads, um, <laughs> telling themselves how much they hate this. Exactly. Maybe they're just... Uh, they're pretending. Pretending or listening to their iPod. Well, tell us... Well, guys, I know we've got a lot of male listeners. Tell us what you think. Um, are you embarrassed by women's underwear? Right. Or women, why aren't you embarrassed when you buy men's underwear for your boyfriend or husband? I think there's a lot to talk about here. So come to our website at EnglishPod.com. Right. Leave your questions and comments. And of course, tell us what you think about this topic. Well, thanks for downloading this lesson. And until next time, goodbye. Bye.